Right, I'm going to give some guidance now on question 9.5 in the workbook. So the first thing we always do, remember a question like this, draw a diagram. Okay, we now need to um, conduct a force balance on this problem. And you can see that we've got mg acting vertically downwards. That has to be balanced by this pressure difference multiplied by the area of the hovercraft deck. Assuming that it is, uh, the air is being pushed down around the perimeter of this area. Okay? So we could just write PC minus P naught multiplied by the area equals M times G. Okay, we can rearrange this expression to work out this pressure term, this differential pressure term. And then if you want the quick way of um, easy way of solving um, the first part of the question is just to use the equation that is, you are meant to develop in question 9.4, the preceding question, is basically plug all of these, this term and all the other terms into that equation and you can work out then the velocity of the jet. Okay, part B of the question asks you to work out the mass flow rate and here again we have to remember that our hovercraft is jetting air down all four sides of its rectangular form. Okay, so we can just write mass flow rate equals density times velocity times the jet thickness or the width of the jet and then multiplied to the distance around the outside of the hovercraft. Okay, to work this out, this is again this is dimensionally correct. Um, thickness times this perimeter will give us uh, a length squared term, which makes this balance. Again, you'll notice that I've written the jet thickness out in terms of meters. Um, just don't get caught out with changing between meters and millimeters, etc. Um, and then that should be all you need to use.